Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So to keep the theme of drugstore makeup going today, I want to just play with some random onesie twosies makeup that I have from different brands. And so I want to see how they mesh well together. And frankly, I just want to start using them because they have been collecting. And so I like doing full face of just, you know, one brand, one brand, but, um, Sometimes you just got to mix it up. And so we are going to do a full face of almost everything new. Um, the only thing I think that I'm not using that's new is, are the um, is eyeshadow, eyeliner, and mascara. Um, everything else is brand spanking new. All right. So if you want to see me apply a full face of drugstore makeup, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay. So um, let's start with this new product here it is from frank body if you can read that it is the original lip scrub and when i saw it i was like i oh i i'm not big on lip scrubs but people swear by them because they leave your lips just um nice and soft and ready for lipstick or lip gloss or whatever so let's see what we are supposed to do here I think it's self-explanatory but since I don't use it mm. okay so how to use me scoop scrub onto finger and gently apply to lips in circular motions lick and wipe off excess okay so it's like weird looking and it kind of has like a coffee scent there was another one that was a cherry flavor, but I was like, mm, I don't know if I like cherry that much. Okay, so let's, just got that much. Circular motion. Oh yeah, it does tastes like I mean I'm sure it's like made with like sugar and whatever like um interesting I'm not about to eat all this though but okay <laughs> that was weird <laughs> that I had that I, you could eat it okay I mean, I like exfoliating like my body, so I just have never tried my lips. So that's pretty neat. Mm hmm. They're tingling a little bit, but like not bad tingling. It's just they feel like. Okay, cool. All right, let's do. I never used this physician's formula one, the Bright Booster Oil Elixir. Let's see what it's all about. I guess I should read it. Okay, it's just lightweight, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't see any direction. So let's just get some on our, my fingers and we'll go from there. Hmm. Yeah, it does have like an oil texture to it. But it's leaving my my face nice and smooth. Doesn't smell like anything. I'm trying not to not get stuff here because in my Milani one, I was like, girl, hmm, I look like a big old greasy mess. So, mm -hmm. it's like, it's weird. Like sometimes I'll watch videos and I'm like, how did I not notice that on my face or that in my hair or that I wasn't blended out? It's because you just don't notice it. <laughs> So, um, don't mind all those little things here and there. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at my nails. How cute are they? What is this? I think it's Essie. Yeah, it's Essie, the Expressy. And this shade is strong at 1%. I don't know what that means, but I love... I love fun colors. Like I have no problem wearing like the brightest colors on my nails. Um, and so cute, huh? Okay. Well, that was nice. Mm -hmm. My skin feels nice and like plump and like 
fresh. Okay. All right. So next, this one is the color correcting concealer. And let's see what I can do with these. You guys know I love a good color corrector. So I don't know which color to use. Like, Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's try doing the um, this peachy color like I usually do around my eyes. Even though I think the blue is better for red or for that. Let's try the green one. Oh, well. Oh, no, here I'm having flashbacks from... My green face that is really bright look it looks neon neon mm-hmm Let's try some of the other colors. Let's try this. I don't know what purple is supposed to do. But uh, let's just see. It looks like brightening maybe. All right. Let's blend this out because girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So is this what it's supposed to do? I don't know. <laughs> Color correcting can be kind of intimidating because you're like, um, am I supposed to have a green face? Well, we'll see, right? Okay, let's keep going. I have this from e.l.f. So I have the poreless putty primer. This is the luminous Petty primer. Elf is just like mm -hmm. not messing around. I'm just gonna do a little bit right here. Well, yeah, you could feel it. It's like cool. Okay, I just did a little bit because you know I'm covered in green. So, and that was I can't get over how bright this was. Mm-hmm. Okay, now so. Uh, you know, if you guys watch my CoverGirl uh, tutorial, I had another, I had a lot of foundation. And so this is one that I had put aside and it's the Color Matte BB Cream. And let's see if this will work. My skin looks green, mm -hmm. like a lot. <laughs> ah, they're gonna be like, how are you feeling? Are you sick? No, it's my color correcting. Don't mind me. Okay, let's add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So this is a matte foundation so it's good for oily skin I don't really have oily skin just in certain spots so we'll see how this goes for the rest of my face it could be drying but so I'm not gonna set the face with powder okay so it is pretty much blended out and the shade match is nice it's just hard to tell because of the um, color correcting business going on underneath. But like, it feels like, I feel kind of cakey. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, you know, I have found foundation. I mean, even though makeup is like, duh, you know, you obviously can tell. But I do like a more natural look to my foundation. But my skin feels really soft. Like, mm-hmm. 
feels healthy. So I don't know if it's the, um, that elixir. I think it's really nice. I'm just gonna do this, kind of blend this in a little bit more. Try not to look so heavy. Back in the day, I used to only use my fingers to apply my foundation. Okay, so my skin just feels nice and smooth. I really like that. Um, and complexion is nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on to some concealer. I don't have a new concealer. I thought I did. Okay, let's use the NYX one because I really like that one. Okay, so mm -hmm, I just really I like that concealer a lot. It's just it it blends out nice and it gives me that like luminous like look under my eye under my from my underneath my under eyes. That's what it's called. I'm like, what's the word? Well, let me fix these things. I don't know if I like these things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Let's get a bronzer because I didn't. Okay, so maybe I'm like, <laughs> I didn't have concealer or bronzer. Sorry, I thought it was just the eyes. But like I said, I'm trying to like scale it back on my buying stuff because. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, let's do one of my faves. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And let's bronze up the skin. Okay, and now I do have a new blush. Don't think this is a brand new spanking blush, but I don't have any um, blush from e.l.f. So this is primer infused blush. Mm -hmm. And I actually don't mind this packaging. I it, I think it looks better than the CoverGirl ones for sure. Like, it just looks sleek. Um, and, I mean, you're only paying like five bucks for it, right? Can't expect it to be like top-notch uh, components. But this is still really cute. Like, I don't mind it. Okay, so it's kind of deep. So we're going to go in with a light hand. Yeah, see, that's that's really pigmented, so you don't want to, unless you want all that pig, that that color on your cheeks, but it's good to build it. So a little, like a light dab in there and light pressure. But yeah, that's pretty. Okay, oh, I didn't even, what's the shade? Always rosy. Okay, so... Highlight, this is from Wet n Wild. Now I have heard wonderful things about this, these particular um, highlighters from Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild has great um, highlighters. So I think these ones are a little bit more like in your face. So we'll just check it out. This one's called I'm So Lit. Yes. Let me close it back up. Oh. <laughs> that was a bunch. All right, so let's get a brush and I'm going to just, uh, this one is like, let's do this. Okay, that's there. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is in your face highlight. So if you don't like bright highlight, this is probably not it. Okay, now let's sum this down a little bit. I can't handle these things, I don't like them. Sorry. Mm -mm. I just, mm -mm. I don't like it. 
Okay, so brows from who? L'Oreal. And it kind of has that whole microblading kind of business. Let's see how this one is called the, the Micro Ink Pen. Let's see if it gives me how to apply. Start with clean brushed brows. Place the comb tip applicator at the anchor of your brow and brush upward and outward to the tail for desired result. What the hell is anchor? This? Dude, just say bottom of the brow. Like, come on now. Okay, let's brush it up like it said. That was quick, but it's not very precise. I don't know. I mean, I think it left my brows okay, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. It has like, it's like wet still. It was like I painted my brows right now. So this won't give you that like individual brush hair stroke. And so, I kind of need that. It's okay. Oh, yeah. and this shade was brunette. How do we feel about that color? Brunette was lighter than like a brown, like soft brown or medium brown. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's see, let's do, let's do some lipstick. Yes. I have quite a few options here. So these four. <laughs> Two from Revlon, one from Undone Beauty, and this one was from Kiss that I got. Um, it's a free gift with purchase, and I still haven't got my eyeliner, I don't think. Um, no, actually, I just got an email literally today, and it's been probably um, at least six weeks, at least. So I have eyelashes that I can't use. Because I don't have the eyeliner because they're magnetic um, so there's that okay that's really red and pink and dark <laughs> so there's no middle shade here it's like this one is pink as well all right let's just look, line the lips Let's try the dark, the, these Revlon ones. This one is Black Cherry. Okay, that is like a satin lip finish. Mm. All right, let's try this nude pink color. And this one is Make It Pink. And let's just do that right in the middle. Let's try this pink one. <laughs> Might as well. Okay. All right. That's fine. Now, let's keep going and let's do eyes. Okay. I wanted to go back and try this CoverGirl palette because... I was thinking of doing more of these kind of gray shades. Let's go back in with that transition shade. Yeah, let's put that down. I need to carry wipes here. I got lipstick on here. Mmm, you smell. Okay, and let's move this out. I have to show you guys how dusty you got that fallout right now. Just right now, just by touching this shade right here. Hmm. 
Okay, now let's lay down this really pretty gray shade and let's wet the brush. Kind of giving me like that whole like wet oil kind of wet oil you know what i mean like that slick kind of look it's pretty let's just bring that all over okay all right well that was really pretty now let's blend it out and then we'll add more color okay so let's get this gray shimmer shade on the end and let's just get my i'm just gonna get my finger and see how that would work right here pretty pretty combination okay now let's go back with that dark gray and do the outside again right here I think I like how that is looking All right let's do the under eye and I, I do think I'm gonna I'm gonna use that blue actually under here It's hard to tell that that's blue and not the gray. It looks like the gray might have a little bit of when the light hits it. I'm sure you'll be able to see it, but inside it looks like the same color, but it's not. Okay. Now I think I'm going to do the um, highlight for my inner corner and brow bone. Okay, that's really nice how it's turning out. It's like really giving me like badass, you know? You know? That's what I am thinking. This is what it's giving me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do liner and lashes and I think that'll be it. Give me one second. Okay, so here is the completed look. I went, um, I decided to not do falsies. I just layered up this mascara from NYX. And so I like it. It's pretty. It's like I am ready to go out. <sighs> mm -hmm. And I'm not yet. Mm -hmm. So there it is. Well, I hope you guys liked this just random onesies and twosies of different brands and uh, to create a, a full face of almost everything new. Um, and so I really like how it turned out. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I didn't really care for. I don't know what I don't care for because the eyeshadow is really pretty. I think I like the gray. I think that's the gray is what saved it. So I'll probably use it and keep it just for those colors. Um, there was a ton of fallout, but whatever. The lipstick, I think it's pretty. I think of, um, with a different look, even it would look a little bit better. I still would like this as a nude kind of lip. Shall we try? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think I like that a little better. I love a good, just nude, juicy lip. I think that just is more my speed and it's 
I, f I feel like I like a good purple, like bold lip, but uh, I just wasn't really feeling it with this look. I think something more like this is better for me. Okay, so there it is, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoy this full face of all drugstore makeup. I hope you guys are taking care of one another be and being safe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.